budget. It is a difficult topic to talk about, but important nonetheless. The suicide rate among men is staggering, and the stigma of getting help needs to be raised, erased. Rather, I talked to a Colorado father who's considered suicide. He says the smiles you see in the photos don't always show the real picture. Some photos say it all. Others, not enough. It really was something that I thought I could just manage. Um, without much help. Behind this smile, Jeff Grandy suffered in silence. I felt myself traveling down a path that wasn't good. Years of depression and anxiety, hiding it from friends, family, even himself. Fatherhood now pushing him to the edge. You know, the screaming consistently um, and never being able to really help him stop, but that was getting to be too much to me for to the point where I was checking out for a few seconds at a time. Checking out for seconds, minutes, and wanting to check out for good. So my intention was go up and hang out one last time and break with some, break with some friends um, and just come home. So as I was packing, I grabbed my gun and packed in my bag and it was one of those where you're watching yourself kind of situations. On the drive home, he had two choices, pull the trigger or pull out of this. And the entire time I'm sitting there saying, why are you doing this? this? Don't do that. You don't want to do that. That life-changing moment that would lead to help here, a recovery center in Wheat Ridge. We see it here at our facility at West Pines every day, uh, the impact of men putting off mental health care until it becomes a crisis. The numbers are staggering. Since 2016, 3,600 people committed suicide in Colorado, 77% men. Life is a little less cloudy and a lot less noisy. Um, once you do get the right help. Jeff refused to be a statistic and hopes other men will too. Just be as, you know, being as open as you possibly can be, even if it's just a couple words, is potentially the difference between life and death. And Jeff says that he still has some tough days and he works through his mental health with the help of therapy and medication. He's sharing his story in hopes that other men will get the help too. If you need to talk to someone, you can reach out to the Colorado Crisis Services. Someone is there all the time to, to answer your phone call. The number is 1-844-493-8255. You can also text TALK to 38255.